All right, I'm taking you in, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you can see, but she's wearing a fur coat. See that? She's wearing a fur coat. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Monday, July 8th, 2024. A little after 1.30 in the afternoon. Um, I just left the install that Daniel and Peter are on. Taking out a old, <laughs> very old train R22 four-ton system. Putting in no other than the Bosch IDS 2.0 four ton heat pump system uh, i got this service call that was booked on our website at pipedoc.net by the way that is the best and easiest way to book an appointment with pipe doctor home services save time book online pipedoc.net or call 516-348-6300 that's for the new york metropolitan area and if you're in florida central florida region Orlando. We service from Daytona Beach to Claremont. And you can reach me at 407-375-1100 or online at orlandopipedoctor.com. All right, I'm about 10 minutes away from my next service call. Uh, we have a central air system for the second floor of this home that's not blowing cold air. The indoor unit is blowing just warm ambient air and uh, they booked an appointment online. So let's go see what's going on. Smash that thumbs up button, guys. Did it again? Go to the back? Okay. Upstairs, um, the air blows out, but it's not cold. How long has that been going on for? Just yesterday. Okay, it worked fine the early in the year. Mm -hmm. Okay, filters clean. Yes. All right, system is off right now. I uh, let me call my husband. I think so. You want to go to the thermostat and check it? I think that because we have two, like yes. one for downstairs and one for upstairs. Um, so you want to turn that on and lower it. I'll see if it does anything outside. Oh, look at that. We've been here before. So, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a dead AC by its toe. Looks like it's that one. Three ton. You can tell that by the 36 in the mile number right there. She's pumping out. She's pumping out some hot air. It's also like 90 degrees out, so ambient is pretty hot let's see if she's a uh, beer can cold no well wow. line sets all the way up on there i don't feel that's kind of 
Okay. You want to turn the first floor on now as well? You want to lower, please? Yes. Make sure that we're working on the right system. That would suck that we uh, spend all this time and realize that it's the other zone, other unit. Must have had a sale on thermostat wire. This is not good to leave it out like that because the landscapers like to do damage to wires. Yeah, this is not feeling anything. There's a filter dryer for this system and there's that over there. So, it'd be funny if, yeah, I don't feel anything here. Feels kind of, and that's the first floor. Well, let me go get the gauge. So I went to my truck to get my Testo 557. One of the things that are running through my mind right now is if it's working fine, um, why is it working now? And one thing that's popped through my head is maybe a emergency drain pan float switch is active or was active. Just got to think of all the possibilities in your head as you're troubleshooting. Maybe dirty coil. Maybe dirty coil, but looks like undercharged. All right. I'm taking you in, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you can see, but she's wearing a fur coat. See that? She's wearing a fur coat. All right. You can see. Got a few of the sides removed. That side is hideous. <laughs> My God. So I already spoke to the homeowner. We're gonna acid wash the coil. Um, then we're gonna check temperatures and pressures once everything's stabilized. And if we need to add refrigerant, we're gonna add refrigerant, add the sealant with the dye. And that way we can look for um, the leak in the future service. And for all of you, uh, you know, YouTube celebrities out there that think they know HVAC and, you know, giving out DIY information. The dirt that's being rinsed out of this machine from the inside out is just, <laughs> it just speaks for itself, right? If you are not rinsing by washing from the inside out, you are just following, you are being like a sheep, right? This is the only way you're gonna clean a coil out. You're not gonna get a coil, clean a coil by, by doing this, okay? Because the air, when this thing is running, the condenser fan motor is running, air is being brought from the outside in. But I guess if you have, uh, you know, a quarter million subscribers on YouTube and, uh, you know, <laughs> you're strictly a monetize, you know, monetize up the yin yang, I guess do you then right but there's a reason why my clients call me because we provide exceptional service leaving no stone unturned and in a minute I'm just gonna use my hands in there and scoop out all of the leaks that are in there get in there like that get in there okay a little bit more there we go all right, let me get in there and scoop that up. All right, now I'm applying the uh, New Bright by New Calgon, and I'm applying it from the inside out. Let me get the total coil, the entire coil saturated with the chemical. Okay, once that's applied on all the sides, we're gonna let that sit for 15 minutes. All right, condenser's back together. She's been running for, let's say about two minutes. So my high side dropped to 240, and now it's slowly climbing. And my low side was at 51, and now we're slowly climbing. 56.5.4 PSI, 56.2. Airflow inside is good, filter is clean. 
All right, she's been running long enough for me to put away the hose, wrap it up, put the uh, the coil gun away with the nozzle, and wrap it up the right way. So it, it's not like I just threw it in the truck. So I've been running for about 10 minutes. 64 and 298. She's on the charge. Oh, let's add. We're going to add a... Uh, Oh, I forgot the scale. Let me look at the scale. Actually, this was full, brand new. We'll wait when we're done. All right, I brought my sub cooling to 8.3 degrees. I am removing my low side hose right now. Make sure that doesn't go in the water. I got my Easy Seal UV. This does up to five and a half tons. I, uh, this is my go to sealant and dye. We have very good success with it. All right, let me hook up my liquid, uh, my suction line back up to that. Okay, and now, without adding any more refrigerant, I'm gonna remove my high side hose. Okay, I got the low loss fittings there, so we're not gonna lose any refrigerant. And then I'm going to let's close my tank. I'm gonna open my high side my low side and my charging port is still open and you can see that sealant with the dye is now injected into the system so let's put back that take this off and secure our caps on our refrigeration service ports the caps are your first line of defense against refrigerant leaks don't forget that ladies and gentlemen as as many times as we sometimes forget or there's not caps there remember that they are the first line of defense against refrigerant leaks make sure they're nice and snug a crescent wrench would have been better there but we're good all right, ladies and gentlemen, a total of 3.7 pounds. Ooh. Sealant, uh, I don't know. We don't know what the leak rate is. We don't know when the leak developed. And um, all we do know is that the homeowners lived there for two years and the system came with the home and they haven't had to do any maintenance or service that they're aware of to the system since they've been there. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Don't know. Don't know. But something's better than just gassing and going. And as always, we do give five options when a system is low on a refrigerant. And option number one, uh, do nothing. If you do nothing, well, <laughs> I don't know why you do that. Because uh, your shit's not going to work. If you uh, add refrigerant, you're basically uh, option number two. You're just basically... Uh, getting a blood transfusion to the system without getting patched up. And uh, what good is that for anyone? Option number three, add refrigerant and add a sealant with no warranty or guarantee. Option number four, we look for the leak. And then we talk about ways on how to rectify the leak and guarantee that repair on that particular repair only. Or option number five, replace the system. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're in the Long Island, New York City metropolitan area and you're tired of dealing with a mediocre HVAC company and you prefer to have your system looked after with a no stone unturned policy, give me a call at 516-348-6300 or you can book an appointment online, saving time at pipedoc.net. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, be well. God bless. Stay safe. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button, guys. Really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. There's no cost or obligation.